Welcome to the Metrics Learning Skill Up Orientation. Today you will learn about what Metrics Learning or Skill Up is, what tools are available in the system, and how to log into Metrics and start your online courses. What is Metrics Learning? Metrics Learning is an online learning platform designed to help people upgrade or learn new skills. The self-paced courses are accessible 24-7 from any computer with internet access. How can it help me find a job? Employers are interested in job seekers that actively seek out opportunities to update their job skills and learn something new. Metrics learning features include career pathways, browse 10 pathway industries over 200 occupations and get recommendations to close your skill gaps. Measure your skills. Get a certificate of completion for each course that you pass with an 80% or higher. There are over 5,000 courses available in the system. Take as many courses as you wish during your six month access. There's also training for over 100 industry recognized certifications. Work toward a certification such as CompTIA or Microsoft. Achieve results. Add new skills to your resume and show employers that you meet their needs. Before we get started, think about your learning goals. For example, I want to update my job skills, or I want to get a job as quickly as possible. Or maybe you just want to evaluate your career options or just want to learn some new things. Let's take a look at some customer testimonials. Ahab is a customer from Troy, New York. He did not have thousands of dollars to pursue a project management certification on his own. He got access to metrics learning through his local career center and took over 100 courses on project management, marketing, Six Sigma, and more. Through taking his metrics courses, he was able to talk about new skills and experience in his job interviews and ended up with a job at GE monitoring wind turbines. You can hear Ahab tell his full story at the link below. Anne-Marie is a customer from Binghamton, New York. She received access to our Metrics MedCom Healthcare courses and was hired in May 2014. She said, my new job is a psychiatric social worker at Binghamton General Hospital. Many of the Metrics courses really helped out with the e-learning courses that were required during new employee orientation. Here's a look at feedback from other clients throughout the years. Overall, Metrics Learning can be a great way to help you update your job skills for employment. Now let's take a look at system requirements. If you're using a computer, we recommend using Internet Explorer for PCs or Safari for Macs. You can certainly use Google Chrome or Firefox and other browsers, but just make sure that it is allowing these options. Browser plugins, we require Adobe Flash Player and Java. Both of these browser plugins are being phased out of the courses. You should be able to launch the courses without enabling Adobe Flash Player or Java. You also need to allow pop-up windows. For the course to open, please allow pop-ups from our website. Metrics is also accessible from your phone or tablet. We do recommend using a tablet device as the screen size is larger. You'll use Chrome as a default browser on Android devices and Safari for iPads and iPhones. Not all courses are mobile compatible. However, over 4,000 of our courses are available and mobile ready. Now I will show you how to use Metrics Learning in a system walkthrough. To log in or register for Metrics, you can go to our website, metricslearning.com and locate your organization to register through. Go to your URL provided by your organization to log in or register. To register for access, click on the link. You will see an information page and you can click through to the registration page. The registration form page contains basic registration questions to create an account. The referred by section indicates which location or career center that you were referred from. Once you filled out your information, click register and then you will be issued a username and a password and logged into the system so that you can get started. Please make sure that you enter your email address correctly as this is the only way for you to receive your login information. Going back to the login page, you can enter your username and password in the appropriate boxes. 
your account is given a license to access the courses for six months or 180 days. In some locations, you will need to launch a course within 14 days of receiving access to keep your license active. Once you log in, you will be brought to the Getting Started dashboard. On the home page, you can see there's a navigation bar at the top of the page and all the items below that, including the three areas, exploring career pathways, browsing the catalog, and searching for a job. As you add courses and take training, your progress area will update. When you first log in and you're brought to the home page, there will be a pop-up video tutorial to walk you through the system like I'm doing here now. There are three main ways to browse the system. Exploring career pathways. You can go in and rate different job skills and select industries and occupations in your desired career path. Based off of your skills ratings, you'll be able to receive customized recommendations for courses to close any skill gaps. If you like, you can browse the catalog directly. The link here will bring you to view our skill tracks, which are the same skills in the pathways tool, and you can earn digital badges for completing each skill track. You can also browse the catalog by a keyword search or looking at industry certifications. The last area is to find a job. We link directly to indeed.com, the job search website, or your state job board so that you can browse real-time job openings in your area. From the home page, you can start anywhere. If you don't know what jobs you are interested in, you can use the Pathways tool. If you want to work on specific courses or skills, go right into the catalog. Or you can search for job postings first, see what skills you may be lacking, and then come back in the system to look for courses. When you are first brought to the Career Pathways tool, you will be given a list of 50 different job skills and asked to rate 25 of them. You can rate yourself from none, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and mastery of a skill. After rating 25 skills, click to continue on to the Pathways tool. Then you can select a pathway industry, browse different occupations, and then based off the occupation selected, you will see your skills populate in the chart below. If there are any skills you did not rate initially, you can go back in by clicking the Rate Skills button. For anywhere where it's blue or green, you fulfill or exceed the required skill level. Anywhere red is where you have skill gaps. You can scroll down below to the Courses slash Resources section. Here you will see the different skills, your rating, and clicking on a skill name will show the courses that you can take. You can add a course to your learning plan by clicking Add to Plan, and once added, you can also launch the courses directly from this page by clicking Launch. The Career Pathways tool gives you a customized curriculum based off of your skill gaps. If you'd like to browse the catalog, you can go back to the home page and then click Browse the Catalog. Browsing the Catalog by Skill Tracks. Skill tracks are groups of courses designed to help you enhance a specific skill. On this page, you can open the different topics by clicking on the name of the track. Clicking on the orange arrow, you'll be able to view all the courses listed in that particular skill track. You can earn a digital badge by completing and passing all the courses in that track. To add that track of courses to your learning plan, click on Add to My Plan to the right. You can also go to Catalog, Search, to browse the course catalog by keyword. There are more than 5,000 courses provided by our main learning content providers. Skillsoft provides courses in workplace skills, business, IT skills, transportation, logistics, and compliance. There are over 5,000 courses available in the Skillsoft catalog. Medcom provides healthcare content. There are over a thousand courses in topics such as billing and coding, home health aid, and nursing. These courses can provide you foundation skills in the healthcare industry. If you would like access to the MedCom course catalog, 
please contact your career counselor or career center to request a license. Amatrol provides over 700 manufacturing courses. This is limited to specific locations. Please contact your counselor or career center to see if you can receive access. To search for different courses, go to the keyword box and enter a keyword or phrase. Be as generic as possible or as specific as you'd like. For example, Word 2016. Then click Go. This will list all the different courses that come back with that keyword. To add a course, click on the plus sign or click on the name of the course to view the description and then click Add to My Plan. You can also browse the catalog by industry certifications. Certification tracks are separated into business, desktop, and IT certifications. For example, business certifications include Six Sigma, Project Management, and HR. Desktop certifications include Microsoft Office Specialist. And IT certifications can be things like Amazon Web Services, Cisco, CompTIA, or Oracle. When you open a certification track of courses, you can open the list of courses by clicking on the certification name and then the orange arrow. You'll notice that there may be 15, 20, or 30 courses to each of these certification tracks. On average, it can be between 20 to 30 hours of training for a certification. You'll notice some activities have a course called test prep. This simulates the exam and helps you prepare for the certification itself. There is also an activity called mentoring. Mentoring is 24-7 access to a Skillsoft expert certified in that particular topic. You can live chat with them or email them to ask any questions about that certification or topic. To add the entire certification track to your learning plan, click Add to My Plan. From the navigation bar, you can click My Plan to access your learning plan. The My Plan page lists all of the activities assigned to you. Some activities may already be assigned to you by an administrator. To launch a course activity, you will want to click on the up arrow button under the action column. The course will then load in a separate window. If your course is not opening, you may have a pop-up blocker on or your license may have recycled. Courses have audio, video, and closed captioning as well as transcripts for you to access and review the course with. When you open a course, typically there is a pre-test, the learning material, and then a post-test. We recommend you take the pre-test just to see where your skills are at. When you continue through the course, you will be able to view the different lessons in the table of contents. At the end of the course, you will have the post-test. The test is typically multiple choice, multiple answer type of questions. To answer a question, you can click on the different bubbles or check marks, or click and drag your answers. Once you've completed the course test, you'll need to have passed it with an 80% or higher to receive your certificate of completion. You can retake the quizzes and tests as many times as you need until you do pass. You can always go back into the course to review any segments that you need to. For different programs where you may need to report your training hours, please note that when you launch the course, the time will start counting. You need to be active within the course for the time to continue to be tracked. The courses will time you out after eight minutes of inactivity. To stay active in the course, you will just need to keep clicking through the different slides or answer the quiz questions. Once you complete a course, it can take up to 24 to 48 hours for the course status to update in our system. Clicking on the My Report tab will let you view all your courses and your scores. For courses that you have passed with the 80% or higher, you'll be able to print a certificate of completion. Clicking on the certificate icon allows you to download the PDF file. Once you open the file, you can print out your certificate or save it. It will state your name, the course, the completion date, the course provider logo in the bottom right, and then your organization's logo in the bottom left. We recommend adding courses and skills that you've completed to your resume. You can use these certificates as a talking point with interviews with different employers. 
Going back to the home page, the last step is to find a job. This link will bring you to Indeed.com or your state job board. You can look at different job postings in your local area. If you need any support, you can go to our help support area. Clicking on help, there's a section to access our tutorials. There's also a link for FAQs or frequently asked questions. If you're still having trouble, you can click help support and view our different knowledge base articles. And if your question is still unanswered, please feel free to create a new support ticket by clicking create a new support ticket. Support staff is available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We will typically respond within one to two business days. This concludes the system walkthrough. Again, if you need any assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. Best of luck with your online learning.